Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Stop what you're doing and check this out. 18,000 weapons were given to the reservists in Kiev. These guns were delivered with ammunition and were distributed to hold back the Russian invasion with more firearms coming. Our country's own Second Amendment is one key reason why we don't have to be worried about being invaded. This is why I highly recommend the Second Amendment Pocket Watch. The Second Amendment Pocket Watch is an excellent way to show support for American gun rights while adding a new accessory to your everyday carry. The best part about this offer, it's absolutely free. Just handle shipping. If you support the Second Amendment, you and your family will love it. Get the Second Amendment Pocket Watch for free plus shipping in the next 24 hours by going to supportthesecond.com or by visiting the link below. So, people, hold on. Before I get started, you've all seen the gas prices, right? So let me do my impression of an astronaut in space right now. Okay, you ready? Ooh, let me get in character. All right, here we go. Astronaut, space, no gravity. About, we're floating around. Whoa, whoa, ow. What the hell? Ouch. Something hit me in my ass. What is that? Oh, gas prices. That's what it is. Gas prices are high as giraffe pussy right now. What is going on? I saw something online today. Shout out to my man, Oliver Mack. So when that evil, bad, orange, Cheeto-looking motherfucker was in office, a barrel of oil was about $52. Now we're at $130. So we're closing in on triple what it was but a year and a half ago. You can almost reach back and touch it. $52 a barrel right there. Now 130 So I got a text message today. Shout out to my man Christian. And in Monterey, where I used to work, there is, you know, at one of the gas stations, he sent me a picture. It says five seventy-five a gallon. Five seventy-five. Seven dollars. Hold on. If you're from a free state, and you guys got cheap fuel, and you can have all the guns and shit you want, nobody's bothering you. Have a seat, because if not, you're gonna pass out and hit your head somewhere. Okay, seven dollars a gallon in Los Angeles. Hold. Up. What would Nate Dogg say? Hold up. $7 a gallon in Los Angeles? People, we are in March. We haven't even gotten to summer yet. You know what happens to gas prices in the summer? They get cranked up. So if we're at $7 now, let's just say 6 Let's meet in the middle. $6 a gallon now during, the, during spring. What's it going to be during the summer? Seven eight, eight fifty. What's that going to do to travel for the summer? No, nobody's going anywhere. It's too damn expensive. Unless you got a whole bunch of money, then you can do it. But the average everyday cog in the machine, the average taxpayer, you ain't doing shit. So that's going to stop money from moving around the country. There's no going. There's not going to be any Griswold impressions this summer. You're not going to hop in the station wagon or the whatever, the Tesla, the van, the truck. You ain't going nowhere because it's going to be eight fifty dollars a damn gallon. How did that happen? How do we go from a couple dollars a gallon average to this shit in a year and a half? What happened? I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday at JG Talk, and it said Trump's pipe. And it was a picture of like, uh, like a pipeline oil, like we had Keystone. And then it says under its split screen underneath, it says Biden's pipe, and it's a crack pipe. Because <laughs> remember, the president of the United States sponsored free crack pipes for people. Oh, sorry, let me close my mouth. My mouth was a gape. You heard that correctly. This administration spent. 30 plus million dollars on free crack pipes. Anyway, so Trump gets in, Keystone Pipeline, let's go. We're energy independent for the first time since like World War II. Day one, Biden comes in, 
Fuck that pipeline. Fuck those 11,000 jobs. We're going to get back on foreign oil. Russia. Saudi Arabia. I, how? How do these two things exist in the same space at the same time? Academia, entertainment, government. You're all LGBT alphabet soup group, Ku Klux trans. Got the damn White House lit up like a rainbow. But you're in business with countries that kill those people. Like I said in the video I just did, I saw a documentary in Russia about Russia where these groups of dudes go and find gay people and beat them up and kill them in some cases. We're getting oil from them and we don't have to. You already know about Saudi Arabia, Iran. All the fucking human atrocities that take place there. We get oil from them and we didn't have to. We, could, we got it from here. We had everything here. Anybody that knows anything about running a business, every the more things you can create in-house, the better. That saves you money. Whether it be machine parts, tools, food, whatever you're selling, if you can make it in-house that saves you money, that keeps money in-house. We had that. We had the fuel. We have more oil than all the top oil producing companies combined. So if I have all that oil, what the fuck am I getting it from you for? Why? I have more than you. How, how is that? What? Wait, so if you own a Mexican restaurant and all you sell is tacos, and you got more tacos than everybody. Why would you go over there and start buying your competition's tacos? You got them. What the fuck? <clears throat> that doesn't make any sense, but that's what we're dealing with. Go to the pump. This shit does not have to be like this. How much cheaper is shit when you don't have to ship it or truck it from somewhere else? Like here in California, where we refine uh, oil, turn it into gas, and send it to other states. Yet, we are paying more than any other state for the gas that we make. Huh? That's like if you had a farm and you got the best soil. Let me tell you how good California soil is. I'm trying to tell you a story. When I was a kid, I was like eight or nine years old and I grew up on a ranch. We had pigs and chickens and all that stuff. We had 10 acres. Where I lived, there was a seven acre minimum to live there. Everybody had property. So one time, I don't know how the hell my dad got this, but he got a five gallon bucket full of tomato seeds for to, to grow tomato plants. How many seeds, how many little tiny ass seeds can fit in a five gallon bucket? A fucking billion? So we got a five, a five gallon bucket full of tomato seeds. Of course, my dad tells me and my brother, don't mess around over there. I don't want you to knock that bucket over. All we heard was knock that bucket over. So we're playing around, lo and behold, we knocked the bucket over. Millions and millions of tomato seeds go everywhere. Like the wind just took them. Forgot about it. A few months later, whatever, how many, however much time there was, man, there were tomato plants growing everywhere. You couldn't walk 50 feet without running into a damn tomato plant. That's how good it is. Just Put the seeds out there. Don't bury them. Don't water them. Don't do shit. Just look at the soil and say tomato. And that shit will grow. So you have that. You have a water source on your farm. You got everything taken care of in-house. And you just say, you know what? Nah, I'm sick of this farm. Let me move into town with all that concrete. Now I have to buy all the things that I already had. This shit is stupid. Like I said, we are still in springtime. Wait till summer hits. You think we've seen the full stupidity of Biden's perverters? You think we've seen his stupidity fully unfurled? Hell no. I believe this administration has more destruction in it and they don't care. Why should they? There's no fear of consequence. They can do all the crazy, stupid, destructive shit they want. And guess what? Their people are going to go in the booth and go, Biden's perverters? Shh. Let me pull the lever for you again. 
That's why they do this crazy shit. That's why he stopped the pipeline on the first damn day to put us in this position. Two, well, actually one word. There's a compound word. Midterms. I think it's a hyphenated word. It is now. Midterms. So next time you're at the pump and you're watching that total, just keep going and going and going and going and going. Remember, midterms. You have an opportunity to stop this shit. If you don't, whose fault is it? Who do we blame? Them or us? Five seventy-five to seven dollars a gallon. This is not a nightmare. If I could reach through and pinch you, I would. Let me pinch myself. That hurt. This must not be a dream. I cannot believe. Holy shit. I remember when Obama was in office. Let's see. Obama, gas crisis. His vice president, now president, gas crisis. Okay. But I remember back in what? 2006, 7, something like that? No. Uh, not 6 or 7. 8 or 9. It was like 2008 or 9. And I remember spending $400 a month on gas. And that was back then. That's when gas was like four or five dollars a gallon. Seven or eight, nine possibly. Well, one thing's for sure. We are going to find out. Now let me let me tell you this. One thing we know for sure is how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.